Lynn Mortis here with a long shot pick for the Breeders' Cup Classic. There's a lot of horses out there who are heavy favorites to win that race, five or six, and they probably will win. But just as a, a horse going off to 20 to 1 or higher, like by my standards, you know, it's worth a $2 bet. By my standards, have has really ran good. Went to post six times this year, four wins, two seconds against top horses. Won, won the Alasheba, grade two. Got trainer Brett Calhoun, top notch trainer there. He beat Owen Dell and Silver Dust, and Silver Dust, another outside, a really improving horse. Always seems to be there, just not winning. Beat McKenzie, who I'm disappointed McKenzie retired. I think he was going to get better. Maybe hurt or something. But back to by my standards, that's, if it's going to be 20 to 1 or higher, 15 to 1 or higher. It's worth a $2 bet. Maybe, you know, he might not even crack the board. He might not. But for 20, 30 to 1, you're not going to make no money on the heavy favorites. It don't hurt to either long shot bet on him. If you if you read the daily racing form or your program or anything like that, just look at by my standards. He's competed in every race and he's right there at the end. And uh, he might not be right there at the end when it comes to improbable and tis a law, authentic, big maximum security. You know, who knows? But uh, Tom Zaton, he's hung with him. And Tom Zaton, that earlier in the year, was a, one of the best horses in the country. Pedigrees wise, he don't match up with these super horses. and uh, But a lot of super horses, a lot of horses end up being great horses with you know, less than great pedigrees. I could name about a thousand of them, but anyway, by my standards, has a big heart, runs hard out there, been there almost almost every time, beats some really fine horses. So uh, if he has a good trip and runs a race of a lifetime, that $2 look pretty good. Good luck, everybody.